Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Warzone Jones coming right back at you, anime fans, with another anime topic video. Street Fighter Alpha, the movie. Have you seen this before? Well, if you haven't, you just don't know what you've been missing. This is a really good movie. You should see this movie. Ladies and gentlemen, five stars is what they gave it. And I can understand why, because this is pretty damn good. If you're a Street Fighter fan, make sure you check it out. Just find it. You know, even if you don't necessarily buy it, just find a way to see it, whether it be for free or not. Maybe you can find it on the internet somewhere. Watch this movie, Street Fighter Alpha. Now, let's get to the review. I'm going to talk about the storyline. I'm going to talk about some of the characters that are in the movie. Matter of fact, let's start off with the characters first. The characters that are in this movie, you know, Ryu and Ken, you know, your typical Street Fighter characters that you would always see who are, who should always be in a Street Fighter project, whether it be a video game or a movie. Along with them, you get Chung Li, Vega, Zangief, Sakura, Dan, you know, the wimpy version of Ryu and Ken, you know, his fireballs are pathetic and he wears a, a pink martial arts gi, you know, he even looks a little pathetic. Uh, also, Akuma, Akuma, the evil version of Ryu and Ken. You know he's in this movie here and there. He's, you know, you would think he's probably the main villain since he's on the cover right there. If you see him in the in the background right there, a shadowy figure in the background, he's in the movie here and there. But it is still cool to have him in the movie nonetheless. So, not everybody has a big role, of course, because there's just too many damn characters. Ryu and Ken. And Chung Li are the most utilized characters in this movie. Now, the villain of this movie isn't Bison. It isn't Akuma. It's a character named Sadler. Now, I don't know if Sadler is in the Street Fighter video games at all. I don't know if he's in the Street Fighter Alpha video game. I haven't played Street Fighter Alpha in a long, long, long time. I haven't played in a long time, so I wouldn't even know if he's in that Street Fighter Alpha video game or not. But Sadler is a guy who takes Street Fighters, and he absorbs their abilities. He absorbs their powers, and he puts it into himself. So he's not the type of guy who's going to go out and train for days and days and weeks and weeks so he can become stronger himself. No, he takes the shortcut. He kidnaps Street Fighters, and he absorbs their abilities, and he puts it into himself. So he wants Ryu. He wants his abilities. He knows that he has this evil, dark power within him called the Dark Hado. Ryu is basically struggling with himself because he has that evil dark power within him. He can't control it. He can't turn it on. He can't turn it off. It just comes off and on. At one point, he was literally sleeping and it came on and Ryu was just spazzing out. He was going crazy. And Ken had to wake him up so he can be his normal self again. So Ken hit him and then you know, Ryu was his normal self because, you know, he was just spazzing out going crazy. He can't control that dark adult power. He wants this power, so he sends his little boy after Ryu. He sends him to draw him out so he can absorb that power into himself. This little boy just basically shows up one day in Ryu's life as Ryu just basically having a regular day. He just shows up on his doorstep claiming to be his little brother. Claiming to literally be Ryu's little brother. Now, of course, he's not really Ryu's little brother, but they don't know that. Or rather, Ryu doesn't know. You know, Ken has his doubts. Once he hears the boy's story, he doesn't necessarily believe him right away. But Ryu was able to be convinced by this little boy. Now, Ryu didn't grow up knowing his mother. He didn't grow up knowing his father, what they look like, you know, or not. So, once this boy showed a picture of his mother, he couldn't necessarily say that that's not my mother because he never seen his mother before. So, Shun is his name. I believe I said that earlier. Shun is the fake you no know, brother name and Shun basically draws Ryu out to go to the Street Fighters tournament. They go to a Street Fighters tournament and Shun gets kidnapped there. He gets kidnapped by Sadler. So once he gets kidnapped, Ryu basically decides to go out and save him. He decides to go out and save this little boy because he believes that's his little brother. He feels like he has to because that's his only family that he ever knew of. So, Ryu, Ken, and Chung Lee, they go after the little boy, and once they reach uh, the place where he was kidnapped, they run into 
this big giant guy. This big giant guy doesn't have a name. I can't really explain what the hell he is necessarily. I can't tell if he's really a cyborg. He he clearly isn't human. He's not human at all because this guy could take punches, kicks. It, it doesn't matter what the hell it is. Like, this guy literally can take a bunch of punches and kicks. As a matter of fact, he's smashing everybody. He's smashing Ryu. He's smashing Ken. He's smashing Chun Li. Like, he's basically running right through these guys. Like, like they basically don't stand a chance to get you. know, Ken does one of his, you know, uppercuts, one of his, like, tornado uppercuts, and he literally breaks this guy's jaw. Like, he, his jaw was crooked. Like, literally crooked. But... This guy was able to put his jaw back together. He's like, he just healed back up like instantly. He instantly just heals right back up. And then after that, he get, Ken gets smashed again. Like Ken had nothing left after he did that because, you know, he just took too much damage. They all took too much damage. Now, Ryu, what he does is to take this thing out, he uses the evil power within him, the dark Hado. He uses that power. So... He uses this power, and then he shoots the big giant fireball in that mode. And he does destroy the unknown villain. He destroys him, but once he shot that fireball, the little boy that he was trying to save, his fake little brother Shun, he was inside of this you know, unknown villain. And once he did that, the little boy just basically shot out, and that little boy unfortunately had died. That little boy died. He didn't die instantly, but he did die. So, after that, the guy, Sadler, Sadler was basically sitting in, the, sitting in a room. He had these tubes all in his arm, in his leg, in his head. Every time they attacked that unknown villain who I was telling you who was like a cyborg, Every time they attacked this guy, basically what he was doing was he was absorbing energy and they was making Sadler stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So once Ryu shot that fireball at him, that big giant fireball in that dark Hado mode, he made Sadler very, very, very strong. Like he made him real strong. All of a sudden, Sadler's arms were bigger. His head was bigger. He was quicker. He was faster. He was stronger. He was you know, really, really powerful. Thus, the fight between Ryu and Sadler, you know, goes on. And it was a really, really good fight. A fight that you should see. So if you want to see, you got to watch this movie, Street Fighter Alpha. This is a really, really good movie. You know, you also had a fight between Ryu and Ken. They fought each other. The fight wasn't, like, really, really great. It didn't last that long. But it was, you know, a pretty, you know, decent fight nonetheless. Also, you know, Akuma, they show Akuma here and there. You would think that he's the big main villain by seeing him in the cover right there. But he he really is. He's just in the movie like here and there. But that's okay. It is a really good movie nonetheless. It's also made by Manga, Manga Videos. Manga does really, really good videos. They're a really good anime company. So, that's my review of Street Fighter Alpha. If you haven't done so, click that subscribe button. You won't get a ticket if you click it. I'm out. Deuces.